Do you know, traveling all over the world, I find that every organization actually has three sales forces. The one is your traditional sales force, the second, your unrecognized, and the third, your unseen sales force. All three of these have to work in tandem to get incredible results. Now, the traditional, we know, going out, meeting people, selling to them, the unrecognized sales force. This is everybody that works for you that says, I'm not in sales, I'm in accounts, I'm in IT. Everybody is part of that unrecognized sales force, and they all contribute to the sticky factor. I've been speaking in Asia for about 15 years, and a little while ago, somebody said to me, go and stay at the Traders Hotel when you're in Kuala Lumpur again. It's a good business hotel, good rates. So I go and stay there, and the sticky factor happened the day before I left. A handwritten note pushed under my door. I open it up. Dear Mr. Furness Frank, thank you for staying at our hotel. It has been my great pleasure to look after your room, and I look forward to welcoming you back to Traders Hotel Kuala Lumpur in the future room attendant, Will. I went out and I found this young guy. I gave him the biggest tip ever. I think he's probably the richest room attendant in the business. Next morning, I go down to the swimming pool and I'm a mad South African. I talk to everybody. There's a guy sitting next to me. I said, Do you know how lucky I am? I booked on bed and breakfast. All my evening meals free. What do you think of that? He says, me too. And I just realized what a great strategy it was, under-promising, over-delivering. We went down to the swimming pool. Normally I pay $5 for a bottle of water. Free water. You know, at the end of it, I wanted to find out what kind of person created this incredible atmosphere with the right standards, the right kind of people. A young lady that had taken over the hotel two years before. That hotel was at the bottom of the Meridian Group. When we went there, number one in the world. Hello, my name is Carlos Aramas, and our company, The Gems Group, markets fresh cut flowers for everyday life. Our bouquets are available in supermarkets throughout North America, and they're positioned to make sense for everyday consumers. We're here today with Frank Furness, where we had the opportunity to learn about all the potential that is available to marketers like us through social media. His presentation was not only fantastic in depth of information, but also in practicality. Our people are much more prepared for the opportunities ahead of us, and we're really, really excited for what we can do. She said to me, we've got eight restaurants in the hotel. They are all fantastic. In fact, our steakhouse has just been voted the best in the Middle East. Because it's your first time at our hotel, any evening meal at any restaurant, free. There's not many words that motivate me, but free. I love that word. <laughs> I then get a phone call a couple of days later. A young lady says to me, listen, I'm the personal assistant to the CEO. I got your email. We've had a look at your site. Can you come and do some presentation skills training for our board of directors? I said, yeah, that would be great. A couple of days later, she says, actually, it's just one-on-one -on -one with our CEO. He needs a little help on, on speaking. I said, yeah, I'd love to do that. She says, we want to take you on board, but I haven't told you the whole truth. He's not only the CEO of the biggest construction company in uh, Abu Dhabi, he's also the crown prince of Abu Dhabi. I mean, nobody gets to be in the Royal Flag. You can see I was trying to sell him some of my products. As well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Ramey. I'm the owner and founder of AMC Liquidators in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Frank Furness was amazing today. We've used Frank before for our Vistage group, and I couldn't wait to come back. We spent a whole day with Frank today. And even though I had a lot of information from Frank before, it was, again, information overload. Incredibly valuable tips that we're going to use for audio, for video, just to take our company to a whole nother level. Frank, great job today. Hi, my name is Frank Furness, and I'm a sales and technology speaker. I specialize in helping organizations all around the world really put together their strategy around the three sales forces. Finally, I'd like to share a story about uh, two of the best salespeople I've ever met. I was speaking in India. I'm staying at the Taj Mahal Hotel. Absolutely fantastic. And I want to go and see the gateway to India. So I go out, poverty everywhere. I walk over. Two little girls run over to me. One's five, one's eight. 
Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Where are you from? I said, I live in England. Oh, Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth. I said, yes, nice little girls. Can we give you a tour? I said, sure. For the next 10 minutes, they gave me the best tour ever. They knew times, dates, places. At the end of it, I pulled out 60 rupees and I gave it to the oldest girl. She looked up at me and she said, please, mister, don't give us money. My papa, he drinks, he eats us, he takes all our money. I'm a softie. I said, girls, what can I give you? We're so hungry, mister, please buy us some powdered milk. So I follow them through the back streets and we get to a street vendor. They run up to the street vendor, he gives them each a big tin of milk powder and off they run laughing. He turns to me and he says, that will be 600 rupees. <laughs> anyway, I pay him and I, I go back to the hotel and I'm talking to the manager and I tell him the story. And he bursts out laughing. He says, those are professional beggars. That's their father. <laughs> the minute you leave there, they take the milk powder back. He gives them 300 rupees to share and he keeps 300. Now, you know, I've just met the two greatest salespeople ever. Think about any sales situation. The first thing you need is someone to sell to. I walk out the hotel. Looks like he's got some money. Okay. The next thing, you have to develop rapport. Where do you live? England, Buckingham Palace. If I said South Africa, they would have said Mandela. They knew their product, dates, times, places, and they knew how to close me. The emotional close, my papa, he drinks. Two little girls, five and eight, that upsold me ten times more than I wanted to invest. <laughs> Uh, we've used Frank Furness uh, now for all of our groups. Uh, he's addressed all of our groups over the last few months. He has. He's given uh, people inspiration, he's given them ideas, and he's given them really practical stuff that's uh, helped our members so much in terms of improving their business, improving their profile, and, and improving their, their strategy. I said to him, you know what, you're a great salesman. He said, I hate salespeople. I'm not a great salesman. I said, you don't need to be. I will tell everybody about you. And so will every client that you meet and you come into contact with. You see, you've got the ability to pour some stardust onto everybody that you meet. Now, for no reason whatsoever, to choose one of these. Are you a rectangle person? Are you a triangle person? Are you a circle person? Or are you a squiggle person? Or a squiggle person? Okay. First one, everybody stand up with things that are rectangle. Rectangle stand up. 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 Let's let's have the triangle. Three角形的, you know? Triangle. Three角形, please stand up. Three角形. Three角形. Oh, good. Okay, good. What about the circle? Round形, you know? Choose round形. Oh, what's the circle? Oh, many choose round形. Oh. And then what about the squiggles? Six circles, you know? Choose circles. Choose circles. Stand up, stand up. Okay. They spent millions on research. This is what they found out. They found out that all the rectangle people, rectangle people, rectangle people, rectangle people, take a good look, research shows that these people are the super intelligent, super intelligent, super intelligent. Thanks for having us. Uh, today is a very excellent talk. We got uh, over 300 people come to your talk. And I, we can see that uh, all of them are very exciting, enjoy, and have fun. And most importantly, they um, le learned a lot of things through today's seminars. What we're selling is the dreams. Now, if we look at right brain selling, it's made up of about four different areas. The first one really is provoking thoughts with visuals. Now again, we're trying this with all of our sales team because if you go and see somebody and you just start going into a, a fact find, 
They don't really know you. They don't really trust you. So what you've got to do is you, you've got to start getting them thinking. Now, visual aims are fantastic. We live in a visual society. Think of the success of things like YouTube. About five, six, seven years ago, I wanted to find out what makes a tiger. The tiger's in sales, the tiger's in business. So I wrote to 500 of the world's top salespeople. I said, what makes you so good? These people have got big egos. They wrote back to me, they emailed me, they phoned me. And that's what really came up there. The biggest driving force is belief and focus. Top salespeople, top business owners absolutely believe in what they're doing and then they focus like laser beams. Yeah, Thank very you. well, very yeah. well. Uh, you were in the seminar. What did yeah, you think? Yeah, superb. I've, I've followed a lot of Frank's work and all his different products are superb, but this, this show is magnificent. I'll tell you the one area of walking with tigers that really inspires me yeah. is Frank's taken, from a salesperson, Frank's yeah. taken so much time with research yeah, yeah. to find all of this out. It's one thing saying it, but to have it backed up like that with all the top guys in the world, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, really it's enjoyed it. Fantastic. Frank is an absolute consummate presenter. He really is an outstanding presenter, and it was a great talk with lots of visual, yeah. lots of entertainment, education, a real good message, motivational, inspirational. I mean, it was just, just overwhelmingly good. Yeah. You've just been on Frank Van Ness's Walk of the Tigers yes. seminar. What did you think? Uh, inspirational. Um, yeah. I think that it's great to have the opportunity to see such a professional, and his presentation is just. Wow, is all I can say. You know, inspirational, information packed, just truly what I needed today, I think. I always fly with Southwest Airlines. Whenever I go to America, I fly with Southwest Airlines because I know the people are incredible and I'm going to have some fun. So recently I'm over in America and I'm flying to Nashville and I'm going to fly with Southwest Airlines. I pay $5 extra so I can sit right in the front, pay my $5, I get onto the plane, as I get onto the plane, the air hostess looks at me and she winks. So I know, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> I go and I sit down, I'm right in the front row, I'm at the window seat, I'm sitting there. The middle seat is open and along to the aisle seat comes the biggest guy you have ever seen. He comes and he's struggling to get in. He's got the straps and stretching and he just manages to close the straps. And See him going like this. Anyway, we take off and I know the fun is going to start. The light comes on and uh, he gets up and he goes to the toilet. She runs to his seat and she makes his seat belt about two inches shorter. The guy comes back from the toilet and he's like, how did I put on so much weight in five minutes? <laughs> Hello, my name is David Auerbach, and I am the CEO of Kelico Metal Detectors. Hey, I'm Gary Shea from the general manager of MindLab Consumer Business. We just finished a seminar with Frank, and it was uh, quite enlightening, yeah. uh, to say the least. I learned, I thought I knew a lot until I finished the seminar today. Had a very educational, a lot of information. Anything, you, Gary? anything you need to know about sales, marketing, online, technology, Frank Furness is the guy, and I'm telling you, this is the second seminar I've had with him. I learned even more today than I did last time. So again, Gary Schaefer from MindLab, general manager of our consumer business. Go with Frank Furness. David Auerbach, CEO Kelly Co. Go with Frank. Okay, time for a bit of fun. Okay, let's see. Maybe he's sick. Brazil will never be the same again. <laughs>
Wong, Chairman and Founder of Mystic Malaysia. We have an annual event where over 300 CEOs get it together and we have Frank Furness to speak to us on two topics. In the morning, walking with the tigers. Wow! The CEOs was wowed by him, by the experiences he shared with the different tigers he encountered throughout his journey. Uh, in the second session in the afternoon, he made so, some of the members told me, well, Frank made it so easy to go to social media. Why didn't you think of it? If somebody joins us, what is the office like? What is the atmosphere like? What kind of atmosphere do we create for the people? You know, how do we get that balance between motivation and hard work? It's all about those office factors. Do you know that you can own the first page of Google for certain keywords? Not your company name, it might be Conference Organizer South Africa. Hi, my name is Peter Molino. I'm the Managing Director for Retail and Phoenix Contact for Australia and New Zealand. Today we've spent a fantastic day. Uh, with Frank Furness uh, educating us on digital media and online strategy. Um, I've had my team together with him. Personally, I I'm pleased that uh, we got Frank involved and help us really understand that everybody needs to participate on online digital media. The one thing you've got to do is, if you're selling yourself, you've got to think of vertical and horizontal marketing. Vertical marketing is all about finding new clients, the internet, the websites, cold calling, all of those things. You've got to do the vertical, but then you've got to do the horizontal. The horizontal is how do we get more work out of our existing clients? Hi, I'm Mike Rowe. I'm the uh, Chief Executive Officer of Footdown. We're in the business of inspiring entrepreneurs and business leaders to be the best they can be. And I'm really pleased to say that we've formed a great relationship with Frank Furness, who's now been to speak to most of our groups. And the thing about Frank is that he gives some real inspirational, practical, uh, support and suggestions for people trying to increase their sales and run their business. So what I do is if I come in and I'm working with your organization there's going to be a lot of fun, there's going to be a lot of entertainment but combined with that there's going to be a huge amount of takeaway because I, for me content is king. So I try and give as much content as I can. Everything is totally practical. So if you're looking to book your next speaker to get somebody in to come and do some training or consultancy with your organization, please give me a call.